Aleida Cristina Mendes Borges. So I'm researching youth political participation. Uh, more specifically, I'm researching the, way, the ways in which young people navigate spaces of political marginalization and become quite key actors in their communities. And my focus is Lusophon Africa. That's Portuguese speaking. I, I had a legal background, so I was working in Brazil as a human rights uh, junior advocate. And then I felt like I, I wanted to have more experience uh, in order to work more with policy because I felt like I wasn't able to make a big contribution from that end. So I wanted to work more with policy and I felt like I needed to have more research experience. So I started thinking about doing a PhD, and, but I wanted to have a, a more smooth transition in terms of research methods. So I went to SOAS and then I met my supervisor and he is the one who told me about LAP. Well, LAP offers lots of things. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very busy scholarship, let's put it that way. It has lots of opportunities and I think one even has to be a little bit focused, otherwise you can just do too much. And I'm one of those people. I have done language courses, some training courses as well, because every, every now and then there are training courses. I've even also done something in reading French at university, which was really interesting right at first. But more importantly, LAP offers a lot of support for students, uh, so that students can feel like whatever the, the, the needs they feel that are relevant for their research, I think most of it is really covered by, by the LAP program, as long as you, are, you keep an eye out, because there is really a lot happening so you need to kind of you know keep attentive so that you can select the opportunities that are more relevant to you. The lab scholarship really helps me not only in dealing with opportunities that I've had so far to publish to equip me with the skills that I need to, to feel confident in publishing but also in terms of networking and feeling confident that my project is worthwhile. So I think it's really good that students before they apply they can feel much more at ease when it comes to the process because it doesn't have it doesn't have to be that complicated and it doesn't have to be that intimidating. So I think if we can be there for students and just reassure them, you know, it's not a big deal. You don't have to be this genius. It just needs passion. So just go for it. Just being, you know, motivating and being there for the students and giving a, a human side to it. I think uh, students uh, just need to feel like they, they will belong. You know, as long as you have that passion and you would like to do a PhD, there's no reason why you shouldn't do it especially with undergraduate students, showing them that there is this pathway to PhD and that it doesn't necessarily have to be a lonely one. Also showing the different routes that you can have in terms of when you do a PhD. It doesn't have to be all about academia because a lot of people think, okay, if I do a PhD, I have to be a professor. I don't want to be a professor. So it's also about demystifying that process. Maybe you're just interested in research, learning more about a particular topic you're passionate about. And we are all very different people within lab, and that's a, a beautiful thing. It's one of the most diverse scholarships I've ever seen. People are, are doing incredibly different things, and, and that's also very stimulating. 